The following trailer has been brought to you by Grub. Thousands of years of evolution have led up to this point. Tried and tested through generations. We thought we knew it all. Then they came along. And here we go. You've seen food reviews, but never like this. Witness the birth of a whole new sub-genre. We're gonna review some food, but in the style of a movie trailer. Unless somebody has already done that, because that would be really awkward. But if they have, I'll do it better. And by better, I mean use more movie references. Like the text you're looking at now. It's all Star Wars. Anyway, back to the food review. Walk to Walk, a noodle joint born in Amsterdam in 2004. Inspired by a trip around Asia, this place promises to be quick, fresh, fun, and yummy. At least, that's what their website says. Enjoy hip and minimalist decor, including tables, bar chairs, and decorative shelves stacked with Asian ingredients, integrated with black ceramic bricks. And the fact there's always a show going on means that if you come on a busy night, you'll never be bored. With this popularity, Walk to Walk is taking over the globe, one orange box at a time. Now with almost a hundred restaurants worldwide, with numerous locations around London, including Cranbourne Street, Great Windmill Street, Goo Street, Baker Street, and Argyle Street. So how do you order? Well first off, you build your base. This can either be noodles, rice, or veg mix. Then you choose your favorites. This could be a combination of meat, Fruits, veg, or nuts. Next up, things get saucy before you top it all off. And trust me, with over 20,000 combinations, you'll find a walk for you. So, what did I think? Now, the food is always nicely cooked and flaming hot, out the wok and in your hands in less than a minute. Even though cooked at high temperatures, the meal always stays nice and moist because of the amount of sauce added and a slight bit of fresh water left over from the clean out between orders. But make sure to keep stirring as most of the liquid collects at the bottom of your box and you could end up drinking a small broth at the end of it. Seeing the guys and girls behind the counter picking out your ingredients in front of you is a nice touch. And they always know how to balance out the meat, veg and everything else. So you're getting a nice balanced mouthful every time. The portions are good. But one thing to add is when preparing the noodles, an egg is cracked into the wok beforehand. However, you can easily ask them to leave this out if you're not an eggy fan. The oyster pail you get your meal in nicely acts as a perfect makeshift bowl for if you decide to go for a stroll with your stir fry. However, if you decide to eat in additional spices, napkins, and cutlery can be found on each and every table. So, walk to walk, I'm giving you 3 out of 5 flames. Fancy eating here yourself? Go to their website and find your nearest walk. But until next time, thank you for watching.